Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I know it's one completely different. I normally do pack openings, but this time I'm going to talk a little bit about the new British company, uh, Pokey Grade. Um, I've used them before, quite impressed. I know a lot of people find them harsh, but we'll have a little chat about that. As you can see, I submitted 10 cards. Now, yesterday I did have a lovely voicemail from Pete himself. I knew they were nice cards, but he was explaining how nice they were. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I was hoping high grades for these because they were, again, very nice cards. So again, I did 10 cards. Oh, look. Box itself and Pokey Grade itself, um, got signed for today. Um, yeah, so just before I open up this, uh, yeah, just in general, I know there's been a lot of confrontation about these grades and that, but to me, you know, I think where a lot of people lie in is they're all trying to make money off it. People that are unhappy about their grades are people that are just generally trying to make money off it. Now, for me, grading should be down to the T. If your card's not perfect, speck of white dust in the back, it's not a perfect card. Um, there's a lot of systems out there, PSA, got a lot of cards from PSA myself, and you know, you wonder sometimes with a subcharge they put on, if your card's worth more, do they grade cards higher just for the subcharge? Now they make a lot of money, I understand that, but you know, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of people that are using computerised digit cameras, everything nowadays to grade cards. Now, my perspective of it is old fashioned, you know. Computers miss mistakes, they always do. Humans miss mistakes. But the good thing about pokey, pokey grade is that they have two graders. So the chances are them of missing a mistake and coming together and giving you an overall grade is a grade on how good your card is. They so need this box. Sorry to get into it. Um, so, you know, as my perspective, if you want your cards graded, if you want them in a shell, and if you want to find out exactly what's wrong with them, with a report, then Pokey grades are way forward. Um, you can't go wrong with them. A lot of people have moaned, like I said, about harsh grades, but you know what? It is what it is. Oh, I even got all my top loaders back. How can Okay. On the floor. So, as you can see, nice fresh. I don't know. Um, uh, get graded, they've uh, redone a nice box, we've got a little bit into them, I've got a get graded card here, um, so, yes, uh, obviously with the packaging is what it is, it's, you know, you're there to get your grades carded, and, uh, cards graded, not a nice fancy packet. It does, it does look nice, it does present a bit of business, but I honestly believe, and quote me if I'm wrong, um, you know, it is, it's simply about getting your cards graded. You want you want to know where your cards have gone wrong, you want to know why they're not hitting that. Now, I've never been in it for money, people are in it for money, and I, I'm not. It's just a collector's thing I've done for now almost 20 years, I've been putting up most sets. So, yeah, I'd just like to know where your cards are. Now, in all fairness, a Pokey Grade 9 would probably get you a PSA 10. A Pokey Grade 10, I don't believe, would be far off, oh, well, there we go, far off a Beckett's Black Label. So, you know, you could use it as a stamping ground and... hoping for really high grades on these these cards i sent in were pretty perfect um i know i've got reports on them all so you're all more than welcome to look up the reports um so yeah we'll have a start uh again the labels first time i used them not straight you know okay your holographic symbols still a little off but you know what i actually really like them I really, really like that. Well, here we go. So here's a promo for the Zapdos. Uh, yeah, again, 
nine. And like I say, send it into PSA as a 10 all day long, I'd imagine. Uh, let's have a quick look. I have got reports. Five, five, four. Okay, there we go. I love the card. I do really like this card. It's one of my favourite ones. I got Shandon. Okay, so a little nick in the top left under microscopic. Uh, so again, we're not really going to see that, guys. But yeah, I mean, it was thing of the labels. They've sorted them pretty much right out. Lovely card. There's one nine. I mean, I don't expect to be dropping any lower than nines on these. To be honest with you. Um, there is, they are absolute flawless. And there we go. I believe a little bit of whitening in this one. Uh, again, another lovely card. Centering, I mean the centering is, all these cards are pretty much near on. Oh, well here we go. So, there we are, a 10, lovely label again, absolutely love it, gold label, and what, I need to ask a question really, um, of what the grading is serviced on, um, 556, hashtag, right, Okay, so this one has no flaws. So, what symbol does a 10 plus come under? Well, that is a question. I mean, center in is ace. Um, I'm trying to see if they're still, yeah, they are still using the penny sleeves in there. It's not a problem as long as they kind of keep them out with no crease, no marks at all on it. Again, a lovely card. Oh, oh here we go again. Another 10. Okay. Yeah, so again, you know, like I said, like I was expecting, some absolutely stunning cards. And not really any flaws in them now. I've got some microscopes myself and I've gone through a lot of them now. You know, I could send a lot of my cards off to PSA and be expecting 10s. Pokey grade, not so much because they do really pick up on it. They look very close at the cards under three different lightnings and two different sets of eyes. So again, an excellent way to be looking at cards really. Um, oh, there we go, and look at this beauty. Nine tails, again, another 10. Absolute stunning card. Um, I think Poker Grade has really done a good job here to, uh, you know, like I said, I got a message, a voice message from him yesterday explaining how nice the cards were. They do get a lot of people that say my cards are in good condition, he says, but he has never seen card submissions of this level before. Um, but, you know, it's, you've got to know what you're looking for, I suppose. It's it's not easy. And if you want your cards graded, oh, here we go again. And beware for the, you know, for the little white speck. If it's got a white speck in the back, it's not perfect. It's simply not perfect. Um, a little ink imperfection, a little speck somewhere, a little scratch. It's not perfect. Um, like I do say, and I have said before, a 9 is almost like a PSA 10 computer red. You know, it's... Oh, there we are. Another 10. Scissors. Absolutely love this card. One of my favourites of all times. Yeah, I mean, you can judge yourself. I do want to find out what is the difference... Um, I know they're all 10 so far, I don't believe it. Well, we've got another gold one on top there as well, so. Oh, there we go. So, get another stunning card. Really nice to get this in this. And to be perfectly honest with you, I could, um, I could crack these if I really wanted to and send them to Beckett's and with a pokey grade 10 gold label, I wouldn't be surprised if I got the Beckett's black label. Bit more expensive. Again, I'm not in it for the money. I don't really care about it. Um, yeah, I just a lover of Pokemon and I do like these things. I like my good cards and nice things. I've got many collections that are just in wallets, so I'm quite happy with that. Oh dear. Another gold again up and Selby. 
There we are, absolutely stunning card again. Again, with the ink splatters and the new kind of art they did with these cards, it's, it's very unusual to be seeing such good artwork and obviously a 10 straight off the block with the vivid voltage. And there's a lot of detail in these um, beautiful cards. So, so far, and we're gonna finish on a 10 as well. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Again, sentiment can't go wrong. I think maybe, maybe a little left to right on that one. Yeah. Maybe just a touch. But apart from that, very, very nice. So, there we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, ten gold labels with ten submission grade and two nines. So fantastic! Yep, by far, very, very happy with that. Um, so yeah, just going into the detail off it really again. Again, like I say, we have two people grading these. I mean, I've got nothing. I'm just a single person. Just love for Pokemon. Send my cards in. I like what I got. Like the report. Um, I think they need to work on a chart so you can type in how many tens there is of such and such and how many tens to see how rare your card actually is. A bit like PSA following a report, which is very, very good. Now, I've used Get Graded and yes, slabs are lovely. Slabs are very nice. Okay, getting very much the same as these ones. I believe they're factory thing. Now, this received a nine. Okay, now I sent this away as I love Charizard, as many people do, expecting it would come back a five or a six. Now, if I can try and keep out of focus here, and you might not be able to see it. No. With this Charizard in particular, no, we can't really, the camera's not doing this justice, unfortunately. Though it does have a few scratches down the tongue of it. Um, let's see if I can turn that. Uh, no, makes it look like I'm making it up now. But believe me, there is some scratches in it. Now, also on the back, you'll see the white dots of speck there. It has, however, looked like it's got a scratch in the corner with the white speckles round the corner. Corner not in great nick. Again, some white in there with speckle on it there as well that the camera picks up quite well. Um, so pretty much white in on every corner. Uh, you can see this, it's, you know, it's, I sent this away purely expecting to get a five or six. I like the slabs. Now, this come back a nine. Now, I think we're getting cheated in grading here, guys. I really do. And I, I hate to say it, but for people to try and think, oh, yes, I've got a nine. I'm going to make a premium on it. Now, that's not fair. It's not fair. It's not a graded nine card. Graded gem have a graded at a nine. With no report, no nothing. What they see fit as a nine, maybe others don't. So I'm not going on at anyone here, but I do beg to differ. I do beg to differ. Now, if you're in love with Pokemon and if you really enjoy it and you want your cards graded with a true grade, Pokey grade is the way forward. Um, yeah, the report, everything. Now, I believe this one, the report did say it, a small nick in the left hand corner i don't think we're gonna see it they're that they're that that harsh but you know where your card's failing you know where your card is failing and like i said with eight tens i received today eight tens you know i know how good my cards are and i don't send ones in that i don't think are now people have got a very optimistic view of grading and yeah i don't think it's right you know each to their own. Now, if you want a grade, you want a harsh grade, but if you like Pokemon and you want to know where your cards are graded, 
and it all means try pokey grade. Um, I sent these away and I received them one day after the four week mark. Um, so, you know, two to four weeks is what he said. Four weeks is what I got. I'm not gonna grumble about one day at all. Service in a box, excellent. He's written to me. Couple of messages were sent back and forth because as I'm the haggler, try and ask if there's any deals going on other ones, which I now believe he has put up on his site of submissions of 50 cards. So yeah, I mean, I'm not here to be harsh to anyone. I just feel that, you know, they've done a great job. It's a small business starting up that is really competing up there with some of the best. Um, we really don't know how our other grades get graded. And like I say, PSA put a premium on anything that is over their threshold of money. So if you're paying for standard and your card reaches a 10, which is therefore a thousand pound card, they will then charge you X amount of money for you to receive your card back. But you already paid the thing. So why is that fee in there in place? So, you know, if a card looks good and they get a pay for as a 10, if it's going to get that premium, I don't know. They make all of enough money. I'm very skeptic about this. There is no premium charge on these tents. Just true eye to magnifying glass under three different lights. Two people hard at work grading some lovely cards. Well, I do hope you like what we see. And uh, yeah, it's certainly a pleasure to be doing that. Um, my name's Craig and I'll certainly be sending some more away to get graded because I feel that they've done an excellent job. I know there's a few more coming onto the market. We'll see how they go, but they're all using these computerized system things. And I I don't think that's the way forward. I really do not think that's the way forward for card grading. I think we're getting very cheated into it. And yeah, I don't like to see, well, that got a 10. Well, why did it get a 10? Or that got a nine. Why did it get a nine? When I can see endless problems with the card. Um, and there's no, there's nothing to back up why they believe that that was a nine. And to anyone that knows grading or whatever, you should surely believe there's a little scratch on the top left there. There's whitening all over the corners. Corners a bit pilled there, a bit pilled there, a bit pilled there. Get a lovely case, love what they do. Turnaround time's great. But 8.5, 8.5, I just think it's very, very... There is scratches in that, I just... The camera's not picking up, so it's no big deal. But that's my thought on it, you know, it's, it's not, I'm not here to raise any things, everyone to their own, you know. PSAs hold a threshold for many years and people still swear by them, so let them carry on. I'm just giving you my opinion on what I think grading is and that how I do not feel cheated one bit or making a premium or premium of anything because I'm certainly not here for the money. I just want my cars to show that they're the best of the best and with no white specks, with no little scratches, with no print imperfections, you know? And Pokey Grade do it for me. Okay, well, if you like the video, do like and subscribe. I surely will be posting some more at some point. And yeah, no problem. Well, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.